Hey guys, it's Jessica. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys some back to school stuff I've got and I've been loving recently. And actually, I will be combining some of my summer clothing haul into this back to school haul. Basically, combining the both because it's been a journey and I can believe it's my last first day of school and yeah I'll be showing all the things I've got for my two week long Europe trip if you guys have been following me on Instagram I've been posting a whole bunch of things on my stories and I've been wearing super cute outfits so my film literally came out today and oh my god it is insane oh shout out to my brother for actually taking the photos in focus Thank you! And also, since you guys are here, make sure you are subscribed down below. The button's down there that says subscribe. So make sure you hit that if you want to be part of the fam. And it'll mean so much to me if you guys are already subscribed or gonna subscribe after this. So thank you so much. Without further ado, let's just get on with the haul. So for the first part of my haul, I'm gonna show you guys what I've got over the summer because these are the things I got specifically for my Europe trip. I'm probably gonna wear it throughout school too because my school starts next week. It's so August, I still consider that summer. So I feel like fall hits mid-September, October for sure. And since I'm in college still, that honestly there's no really a dress code. As long as you don't show the class naked, it's fine. Like teachers literally don't care what you wear. Honestly, what I usually wear to class is either a sweater, leggings, slides, or just shoes and jeans if I really feel like it. Comfort is key in college. Comfort is key. So without further ado, let's just get on to the haul. So to start off this back to school haul, I'm gonna open this package that I received from Thread Tank. Thread Tank is a graphic t-shirt company in LA and they actually reached out to me when I was in the airport about to leave to go to Europe. Honestly, it was so fitting because I was planning on filming a back to school haul anyways. So they sent me two t-shirts that I picked out myself and I'm excited to see what they look like in person. Nothing's more fitting than wearing dress code appropriate shirts for school. Am I doing this right? <laughs> Isn't that so satisfying? <laughs> Ooh. So it comes in this brown packaging. So they told me to pick two t-shirts out of the entire website. I finally picked up two of them. Oh my god, it's so soft. So this shirt says nurse on it in the Friends logo. I'm a nursing student and this is my last semester of nursing school. I'm officially a second semester senior. This is so fitting and honestly, it's so soft. And I'm wearing a size small if you guys are wondering. This is so easy to throw on over a pair of jeans and knowing me, I'll probably wear over leggings at this point. Nursing so hard, you gotta flex. Like, I'm a nurse. I will be taking the, the NCLEX soon, so after I graduate. So nothing more fitting than wearing a shirt that says nurse. And the next shirt, oh my God, when I saw this, I had, I had to pick it out. I think I told you guys I was super obsessed with Grey's Anatomy and I finished it over the summer and I started a new series. I'm really behind on this, but I just started out Stranger Things and oh my God, it is so good. I know I'm super late to the hype, but I love Stranger Things. <gasps> a Stranger Things shirt. And guess what it says? Should I stay or should I go? Genius. This shirt is what I need. I'm definitely gonna wear this all the time. Honestly, I think this is a reference to season one because I've always played that song. Like, should I stay, should I go? Should I stay or should I go? And honestly, perfect for back to school. If you're in high school or in college, it's super perfect. I love this shirt so much. I mean, because I love Stranger Things and anything Stranger Things related is perfect. I just love it. And thank you so much, Threatsing, for gifting me these two shirts. I love them so much. If you guys are interested in a match with me or if you like anything on their website, make sure you use code Jessica for 10% off. Everything will be down below in the description box. So I'm gonna start off with the things I got first in the beginning of the summer and what I got recently, like last week in Europe. Start of the summer, I got two things from Urban. I got this off the shoulder top with ruffles. If you have a strict dress code, it's not gonna fly, girl. But honestly, you can wear it like with any sort of jacket or cardigan. I usually like to pair this up with either a skirt or a pair of jeans. And the material is really nice and thick. I would say it's like kind of woven and it's really neutral. And as for my other hauls, you already know I don't need another white crop top. This is my first one shoulder top in my closet and I'm really loving this trend. I could really dress up any outfit. That's another thing I got from Urban. It's another white crop top. It is a button down 
silky satin material. I love the prints on it. I love the flowers. Super nice. And honestly, I'll probably wear it with this with high waisted jeans or high waisted shorts. It'll look super cute with this. For the summer in Europe, I kind of just wore it by itself with a pair of shorts and call it a day. I got a gift card to Forever and I wanted to use it because I was like, why not? I gotta use it before I forget again. I don't know if you guys have a bunch of gift cards. You're like saving it but end up not ever using it because you forget about it because that's me. So I got this really cute top. I probably won't wear this to school. I don't think this is school appropriate but super cute. It's like a crop top and then the puff sleeve. It's been super in the summer. Photographs super well. I wore this in Europe and it fits the vibes. It can really dress up a outfit fit when you go out. This is hence why the summer stuff is in the beginning of the video. Yeah, I would wear this mostly in the summer, but not really to class. So I'll probably be wearing a sweater and the leggings most of the time in class. So that's what I'm basically going to wear. The next thing I got is from Princess Polly. This is the first time I bought anything from Princess Polly. Especially this summer trend. I gotta get on it. I got a black puff sleeved dress and it has ruffles on the bottom. I think this is super simple and it's also not only great for the summer, but also for school. It's actually quite classy if I want to wear it on like a nice summer day. Or I can wear it mostly in the fall because it's dark. I love how it's body calm, but also it has the ruffles at the bottom kind of flares out. And I can see myself pairing this up with my docks or my white chunky sneakers. It gives a nice feminine touch with the puff sleeves and the ruffles at the bottom. It's just so nice. It's, it's a great time. These are the things I got from Randy before I went to my trip. This is the gray skirt. It's super Super cute. It low key reminds me of my private school uniform that I wore, like preschool and kindergarten. I, I remember hating it. I remember going to the store, like a uniform store, I think. I had to wear stockings. I remember I hated stockings so much. Now it's so funny how the tables have turned the turntables. I've noticed all the things I purchased from Brandy. It has this really soft material. It's kind of appropriate. It's like a presentation skirt. I can wear it with a leather jacket. It's super cute and it's honestly perfect for school too. Not only for the summer. I love functionality. I love using things not only for my vacations but also wearing it to school as well. So going along with this plaid trend, I got another skirt. It is pink. This is actually one of the spontaneous purchases that I made. I wasn't planning on getting this pink skirt, but I'm super glad I got this skirt. This is super nice, and if I feel in super dressy one day for school, I might wear this. It's like the same material. It's really soft, but this one's surprisingly really thick, and I paired this with a white crop top. You know, shocker there. <laughs> and with that skirt, I paired it with this. Guess what? Another white crop top, but not just any other white crop top but this is a polo white crop top and when I saw this hanging at the store I just had to buy it it was so cute I love this material it's like super stretchy and I like the material I like how it's cut and it pairs well with my plaid skirt or with anything I can see myself wearing this with high-waisted shorts or any of the skirts that I have I love it I love it so much so the last plaid thing I got from Brandy was this dress and I really want to get something green because every summer I always try a new color and this summer is green so I know this print is the same exact one as the pink one but in green but I had to get it and I wore this dress to the Palace of Versailles and Versailles was so amazing but except for the fact it poured the entire time honestly I love dresses for school especially because it's just one piece of clothing that makes you look so put together even though you're not even trying I, that's why I love dresses so much and I like how fit considering the fact that brandy is only one size only it's quite big so i like how the strings are super long you're able to tighten it at the waist i usually would add like a belt on top of it to bring in my waist even more i was thinking like layering it with a long sleeve underneath or a turtleneck to make it more back to school more fall like and it's not too short if you want to get a dress that's more school appropriate dress codes won't come for you and the last thing i got was something that i usually wouldn't really get i got another skirt which is super surprising i got three skirts on this trip i don't really wear skirts that often but obviously now since i bought three more skirts i feel 
feel like I will wear skirts more often. What really caught my eye was the flower color because it's coral and coral is my favorite color. This reminds me of Laura Maxi skirts that people would wear, but I'm too short to wear Maxi skirts, but this is like a really nice compromise version. It goes right above the knees. So I found this super nice and flowy. It was actually quite comfortable. It's actually kind of big on me a little bit. It wasn't a problem because when I was in Italy, I ate a whole bunch of pasta, so I was bloated. It wouldn't hurt to wear a belt with this. This is a really different piece that I don't have in my closet yet. Just the fact of it being flowy and it's like a longer type of skirt other than like a tight mini skirt. It's really refreshing to have in my closet. Those are the main things I brought over for my Europe trip. So now I'm going to show you guys what I got in Europe. So the first thought of my trip, I went to Disneyland Paris. So Disneyland Paris if you guys don't know, it's outside of Paris. It's like an hour away. I went to Primark. When you're in Europe, you have to stop at Primark. And honestly, my boyfriend Jake put me on Primark in Europe. I didn't realize Primark is the go-to place to go. Everybody goes. It has everything and anything in there. There's also the beauty supplies. There's pajamas. They're just everything's in Primark. I had to pack space because I know I was gonna buy more things later on throughout my trip. And the stop at Primark was my first stop there. But I just only got a pajama set and. I decided to get the Little Mermaid one I saw on their Instagram, I believe, and I just had to buy it. And I'm glad that I had it in my size. It comes with the striped matching shorts. I love the Little Mermaid. Little Mermaid is actually one of my favorite Disney princesses. I remember used to watching it on the cassette every single day when I was younger. I just loved it so much. So I went to Disneyland Paris and I loved it. It was super cute, quite similar and yet a little different from the one in Anaheim. It's quite smaller, but nothing we couldn't handle. So I got this Disneyland Paris crew neck. I love how thick it is. It's a really nice material and I love how most of it's in border, so it's like a really nice sweater. Even though this is a small, like I can wear it kind of baggy, I can wear it with like short. This is literally the definition of my go-to outfit with a crew neck, leggings, and a pair of white shoes and call it a day. I gotta get my comfy outfit game strong. From London, I only got one thing from there, another crew neck. I guess you guys know I love crew necks and it, this one says London with all different colors and I love this so much. This is actually quite darker than the Disneyland one. Just to clarify, I did not get two of the same color sweaters. I love this so much. I will definitely wear it with leggings again <laughs> and possibly with slides or docks or anything. I can wear it with shorts. It's very versatile. I can see myself wearing this all the time. I really like how it's also baggy and this is super soft. So the next brand new store that I went to was in Paris. So the first thing I got was this t-shirt that says Paris and honestly this is perfect for back to school it's very school appropriate I saw on the mannequin that had a black floral skirt with it it looks so cute so I might get that next I also got another thing and guess what it says Paris although this is the same print I like how it, it is a long sleeve because the fall's coming up it's cropped and I would wear this with my high-waisted jeans or leggings and I like how flowy it is. It's super soft and comfy. Anyways, this is really nice and super simple and I feel like it's a staple to have for back to school. So if you guys are OG, I did a London haul where I shopped at Topshop. So I had to go back to the same Topshop that I went three years ago. So I went to the Topshop on Oxford Street. I was kind of in a rush because we had to catch the train back to Paris and we went on the Eurostar, if you guys know. I was rushing, I only got only two things. In London, it was pouring, raining, and I was wearing a skirt with docks. My legs were so, so cold and drenched. So I got these pair of sweatpants, and they're kind of cute. They're like tight on the top, and they flare out. And honestly, it's super flattering. Makes the butt look good. But this is a really stretchy material. I love Heather Gray. Heather Gray is my weakness. I can see myself wearing this for school with my sweaters that I got. It's just great. So the last thing I got from Topshop was this pink crop t-shirt that has this little, I don't know what this detailing is called, but I think it's like a scalloped embroidery at the edges of the shirt around the neckline and on the sleeves. I really like that small girly touch to it. 
and it makes a basic t-shirt like more unique it's a super essential top for back to school it's a plain t-shirt that will go with anything i really like this color it makes it pop it's not too bright not too neon just the right shade of pink so that's all the things that i got for summer and back to school i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you like hauls i love trying hauls so much clothes on hangers and on, on websites don't look the same and if you guys are haven't already make sure you subscribe down below it would mean the world to me and to stay updated all the videos that i'll be uploading next I'm planning on making more school related videos because this is indeed my last semester of school ever. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and see you next time. Bye. This my niche. Play my role. What you hold? Lil boy best on reach. Your shit dirt, you get curved. I just saw and reap. With that ease, hella